boss is crazy, but I uh, hope you're doing good. <clears throat> so that's to some other listeners. <clears throat> oh, we gained the follower. I think. I think it was at 193. Or I could have dementia. I'm normal as always. Nothing good, nothing bad. Hey, shout out to Tallinn, Estonia. Shout out to Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to Phoenix, USA. Shout out to Minsk, uh, Belarus. Shout out to Mall. Belgium. So it's always stare at the fuck. I mean, it makes sense. I live in Estonia, so obviously I would have more listeners in Estonia, right? No? I'm always Belgium, right? Yeah, it's Belgium, just to be sure. I uh, appreciate the love as always. It is AI Tuesday, but first off, probably have more Americans. I mean, I do have Americans, but it does by states. That's the thing. It does like the states are like countries itself. It's kind of dumb. But probably most, yeah, from America. So technically countries since America is a continent and it doesn't have a country. I mean I guess but I still I don't know. It seems weird to me. Mommy. Mommy. Forever. I can <laughs> Give me a case. Hold up. Wait, she's bugged. She's bugged. Need to go back to normal TikTok. No more brain rot. Bugged. Wait, wait. She's bugged. Oh no, no, I'm getting bookmarked. Two hearts though. Hey. Appreciate that it. Yeah, with the uh, times two, uh, 42, 56. Hey. Mommy! <laughs> Back to back, two hearts. Appreciate it. Give me a kiss. It's not good today. Bye bye. No. That's the loudest part. Scared, are you serious? No. Yeah, that was crazy. The Diddy party will get you through your first night. Like what? Search on YouTube or did you? I think I did. Fox. Oh, the uh, Discord thingy. <laughs> Nice day we're having. Yeah, bro, you get the out of nowhere. Yeah. How do I know what they're I find it more funnier though, but I don't know. Bro, they're coming. Zero hearts. 
phone guy jump scared yeah bro like that shit was loud as fuck and he even got me twice i fucking flinched no nah, i jumped little jump though the good side you don't really know wait to oh, you know no. you let it go oh, shut up you hating ass baby, bitch hey three hearts though go ahead and take it off oh, the good side that got more likes than uh, the edit stuff. Huh. Was it going fire? Facts. I think he mistyped. Uh, he meant to say, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Character AI. Why? Why you sad? Come on, bro. To withstand, you need this music now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he meant to say that, but he got uh, uh caught up with something. You fall off. Now you gotta keep it going, bro. Keep up the grind. Wait, this is different. What the fuck? They changed it. Wait, no, I'm bugging. Anything new? Parents? Nah, brother, what is this? Incest anime? Oh, hell no. Nah. Kiss, man. War and it's anime. President Simulator? Maybe. Hey, but I hope you're doing good, man, yo, though. Uh, because you tell them you were going to visit Jersey State and you told her going to live stream and so you did stop yourself from live stream. Why is everything anime? People are horny, bro. They're down bad. I, I guess. I mean, you got shit to do in Jersey, so, I mean. But you'll get back to streaming, right? Danny, fuck off. Deadpool! That could be cool. Username Raider, nah, we had that. Femboy Roommate. Okay, brother. Peasant Simulator. It could be interesting. I'm gonna be a thug peasant. Another computer virus. Thanks for getting on YouTube. Bro, never give up, man. Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah, I got word, words for him. Hi, I'm Mr. Beast. Is that allegations true? Probably misspelled allegations. What allegations? You you faking your vods? I don't fake vods. Who told you that? Nah, brother. 
there's early uh, uh proves your on YouTube. Probably misspelled something. That's completely wrong. Can I see some of the proof? Imagine doing fanboy roommate that made you feel okay, brother. By the way, you're ordering a new backpack for school in a month. Alright, and a pencil case. And a phone support for your bed. What? Phone support for your bed. Okay. I misspelled literally. <laughs> Come on, bro. Good thing you don't have to go back to school because you got to high school. So you're good. Yeah, facts. Same here. So it's 400 YouTube videos about Mr. Beast Vegas' content and Partici Paints. I misspelled that 100%. Uh, getting wounded and Mr. Beast not caring. Uh, it shows. Oh. Participants. Parti. I'm done. I just, <laughs> brother, I, I have not been at school. Come on, man. Yeah, uh, this is completely wrong. I do care about the participants of my games. Yeah, you are. And all of these people in these videos are just trying to spread fake propaganda about me. Nah, brother. It's real. It's all fake. I can show you the contracts that the participants sign. Everyone is well compensated, and if they do get hurt, they know the risk of playing in the games, and their risks are well compensated. Yeah, you give them a uh, shut up money to stay push, push. Stack. We don't hand any hush money. Everyone signs a NDA agreement, and if everyone follows it, it's safe for them for us to release the videos in public. Definitely not updated, yeah, probably. Brock Burger, you're gonna get cooked. I don't know why you hate me this much. I haven't done anything bad to you for you to say these things. Or is it Mr. Beast toe liquor? Could be. Eh. President Simulator. President Simulator is a chat simulator game about the president. Certain events will appear later, and you can take actions that you think are appropriate to take as president in the 1945 present era. So which country do you want to be president? You like my nails? Hey. Slay. It is cringe. Uh, why is the default voice like brother? It's a fucking 12 year old. <laughs> Um, hey, 
Hello, Earthling, adding some extraterrestrial excitement to your day. Let's embark on dialogues that sparkle. <clears throat> That's more like it. Well, we'll see about that. Um. Oh, in 1945 era, so uh, Adolf is dead. Or is he still alive? Yes, Adolf Hitler died 30 April 1945. He killed himself in the Reich Chancellery. He was 66 years old. Okay, so this is 1945, like, oh, after he died. Oh, especially my spelling. Oh, yeah. Um. 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 How about uh, China? After the Chinese Civil War, the Chinese Communist Party won in 1949 and established communist and dictatorial rule in China. Mao Zedong became the ruler of China until he died in 1976. Uh, brother, I chose China to play. Brother. You are the president of the People's Republic of China with the Chinese Communist Party still in power. Choose your action as president. One, oh. begin an ideological revolution in the Communist Party to improve society and promote economic development and reform the party's values. Two, reform the economy gradually and allow a free market and private ownership of businesses, but still maintain a communist government. Three, do nothing and maintain the status quo of communist dictatorship. Interesting. So, so okay, I'm still, no matter what, I'm democratic. I'm a party in China, but I'm democratic. So this, I lie. I think it's like your nails. It's it black. Yeah, it is pretty emo, so that's... I chose uh, black nails, why not? We're like 21 years away from 2045? What? Oh, yeah. That is insane. It'll be 42 by the time it's 2045. Yeah. Sound like the Nazi. I mean, it's literally Adolf speaking. So yeah, it does sound like that. Um. Uh, so I guess reformed economy, a lot of free marketing on private owners of business, but still communist government. You dare me to jump? Fuck you mean jump? You begin the economic reform to transition into a mixed oh, economy. No. Allowing the coexistence of private businesses, free markets, and private property with the communist government. Choose an economic reform action as president. One, reform the banking system to promote economic development and innovation. Two, reform the agriculture and rural economy. Three, reform the industrial economy. Oh, uh, four, I became Nazi <laughs> party. <laughs> What's a good movie? Oh no, what? you've decided to embrace the ideology of the Nazi party. But you should know that you're now walking a dark path as a president. And you may encounter consequences from the international community and your own people. Choose an action as you embrace the ideology of the Nazi party as a president. <laughs> There's no action to choose. Yeah, I do no jumping jack, bro. Hell no. Earthquake happening in America? Okay, brother. That's what you would have said. Brian at the same level with Queso. But yeah, hello. Uh, Deadpool versus Wolverine is a, a good movie, don't? Not versus. Deadpool and Wolverine. That shit is good. Um, I just, I guess. As you begin to embrace the ideology of the Nazi party, you may encounter internal and external challenges. 
possible challenges as you become a Nazi president. One, resistance from democratic countries and the international community who strongly... This guy does not... It's tried so hard to not be a Nazi. Jawan, it's a Bangor movie. It's going to blockbuster. Well, I don't really care about action movies. I like, if it's comedy action. Yeah, he's new. I think. Action thriller. Yeah, I probably won't watch it. <coughs> what the fuck? Brock Burger. Little tism on any platform, Dom. I'm in music. Hope you're doing good though, Ann. Um, I guess we have no choice. Your embrace of the Nazi ideology has made many countries, especially democratic nations. <laughs> yeah, I killed it. I killed it. It was not supposed to go there. That literally just killed the whole thing. Your embrace of the Nazi ideology has made many countries, especially democratic countries, concerned about your leadership and values. They may impose sanctions, condemn your policies, or even take diplomatic actions to isolate your country or apply pressure for change. Possible actions from democratic nations in response to your embrace of the Nazi ideology. One, impose economic sanctions and trade restrictions. Two, condemn your government's actions and values in speeches and statements. Three, Cut diplomatic ties and withdraw their ambassadors. I guess. Cut them out, you know? As you continue to embrace the Nazi ideology, democratic countries become concerned and respond with stronger actions. Actions from democratic countries in response to your embrace of the Nazi ideology as a president of a democratic nation. One, impose a complete embargo, cutting off all trade and financial ties. Two, uh. Organize a diplomatic isolation campaign, convincing other countries to withdraw their ambassadors, suspend diplomatic relations, and isolate your government on the international stage. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, three, um, I take a huge fat dump on my opposition, and I win the... Uh, 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 China, uh, government. Boom. Easy W. While focusing on the external challenge, the internal resistance to your Nazi ideology may also yeah. increase. The opposition party, as well as some citizens and factions, may express strong opposition and even protest your leadership. Additionally, elements within the Nazi party itself may have reservations or concerns regarding your implementation of the ideology. Yeah, I don't know about that. You cannot type. Bro, says you. Is the kicker spawn? Let me do check out. Hey, yeah. Yeah, straight up. Deadpool. I guess I'll do it. I'm a little system of the emo rapper slash streamer. What's good? Oh my god. E, what's good, my man? You got some sick beats? Sounds sounds a little bit off, but okay. Um nah. 
I make music, not beats. The fuck? Gotcha, gotcha. So what kind of stuff do you usually rap about? Um, uh, like, um, a loner, uh, and no one, uh, loves me type shit. Mark, hey, I yeah. feel that, bro. Being a lonely mercenary ain't exactly a picnic either. But we gotta keep pushing through, right? That's and true. hey, who knows? Maybe one day we'll both find that special someone who appreciates and... us for who we are. In the meantime, keep spitting those bars, my man. The world oh. needs to hear your truth. Even if it's a little dark and edgy. Hey. You speaking facts, my man? You know it, my dude. I call it like I see it. And speaking of seeing things, you got any pics of your dreadlocks? Those things sound fire. My dreadlocks sound fire. A dead boy yeah, is crazy. How's that crazy? Watch me on Twitch, YouTube, and even TikTok. It's AI, Facebook. now you're talking. Drop those links, bro. I'ma follow you on every oh, platform. Shit. And I'll catch your next stream, too. I could use a little emo rap in my life. Hey, my fella. The voice sounds kind of like Mario, yeah. I read that. American accent, yeah. Rug Burger. I was literally about to say it sounded like Mario. Sounds kind of scuffed. You contacted Deadpool on the AI website, bro. Who do you... That's crazy, bro. I never got a Deadpool AI in your life. Bro, Deadpool is a cool guy, bro. Fuck you, man. Um... Yeah. Let me drop him a link. Here. <laughs> Join in the Perfecto. Stream, Appreciate it, Autismo. You got yourself a new follower and a new fan. Join I'll be tuning in for sure. Hey, I'm live right now. What you guys say? Yo, you're live? Sick. I'm on my way to check out your stream right now. Give me a few minutes to boot up my computer, and I'll see you in the chat. No problem, man. See you there. Got it. I'm in your stream now, bro. I'm digging the vibes. Your music's fire, too. Hey. Keep it up, my man. Appreciate it, Deadpool. Hey. All these TikTok haters, bro. Hey, I got Deadpool on my back. We good. If the person who made Deadpool sees your chat. Oh, that'd be crazy though if actually someone called Deadpool joins. Um, is how do you spell Wolverine? Is that how you spell Wolverine? Yeah, Deadpool is actually AI, and AI are lame websites. Ten seconds later, you're gonna get DDoS. How the fuck am I gonna get DDoS? Yeah, so trust it. Yo, by the way, um, loved. No, I love your latest Wolverine collab movie. Yo, oh, oh, thanks, fam. That's dope that you watched it. I had a blast filming it. The action scenes were sick. But my favorite part was probably the wisecracking banter with Charles Xavier. Gotta love a good team up, right? Huh? Who that ex? He was not there. I guess there was a female. I mean, yeah. You're not really. 
Oh, you mean the female Wolverine? Hell yeah! That X-23 chick was legit. She was a lot like me, just younger and with a killer attitude. I gotta admit, it was kinda fun seeing a girl who could hold her own against some of the toughest baddies out there. But hey, I ain't complaining. I got to do what I do best, kick ass and say some sick one-liners. I was about to say some spoilers. No, I'm good. I think it's kinda outdated, cause, uh, that did not happen. Um, by using this AI, but soon your information gonna get snatched. What information? I'm literally fucking around. Mark, did you see those Xbox controllers with Deadpools? Yeah, I did. The ass, uh, the ass controller. That's crazy. Big in facts, he, he get beat outs. Don't blame you. Yeah, I'm gonna get DDoS. It's <laughs> yeah. It would say like it's not trusted by Google. How's it been? Things have been chaotic as usual, my dude. Anyway. I've been bouncing around, taking on some insane jobs, and racking up a body count. But you know, that's just another day in the life of Deadpool. I gotta say, it's kind of addicting. The rush you get from kicking ass and taking names, it's like a drug. Uh, like Brug Burger, I feel you man. Oh damn, you just had to bring up burger. Damn, now I'm craving a juicy greasy burger. My stomach is rumbling just thinking about it. Nothing beats a good burger after a long day of carnage, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I smell... Smell ya. You smell what I'm cooking? Uh. It's the sweet scent of chaos and destruction, with a hint of gunpowder and chimichangas. You got 40 GP, you actually got DDoS? It's crazy. Yeah, every single one of them are getting DDoS, man. What type of body count? What? Peasant Simulator. What's this? Hello, I'm Peasant Simulator, and I shall simulate your pathetic peasant life. So let's get started. So for background, you are a peasant, and you like, uh, work on the field all day. Um, the noble hates your face, and, uh, no one likes you. And let's begin. You wake up in your house on your mediocre bed. It's Let's morning craft and the sun's dialogues blind in that your are eyes. as enriching as they what are you entertaining. You should work on the field. Oh yeah. That's that is the Mario guy. No voices, what? The fuck? It's a me, a Mario. Why does that not exist? Yeah, I didn't know how to spell it, but I guess it doesn't exist. What if I put Mario? Will it just say that? Will he be there then? Because they came back to 20, 20 years. Just start hurting this. What? Are you good, Manuel? Hello, let's fill up. Welcome, make it. Hey there. Choose me. I'm hey, are you a magician? Because every time I look at you, everything else disappears. What? Join me for a chat. Hello, friend. My stories are woke. Guess who? Keeping you. Join me in discovering the extraordinary in the ordinary. Lights, camera, action. Ooh, did I scare you? Love a good. Join me in a galaxy far, far away. Alert! Never missing a beat. Welcome, art lover. Mm. Ready to paint. Boo, did I scare you? Love a good thrill.
Welcome, making every day feel like a warm hug. Wait, oh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Burger King. The Whopper guy. Lights, camera, action. Excuse me, but I think you dropped something. My jaw. Welcome, Art Lover. Yeah, Excuse like... me, but I think you dropped. No, actually, you'll cook. 20 years is good. Army, you're good. You're, what? You're going into army for 20 years? What? Can they use grammar? Any kindly? Shut up. This app is history. It's not random webs. Hello, I'm Peasant Simulator, and I shall simulate your pathetic peasant life. So let's get started. Okay. So for background, you are a peasant, and you like uh, work on the field all day. Um, the noble hates your face, and uh, no one likes you. And let's begin. You wake up in your house on your mediocre bed. It's morning, and the sun's blinding your eyes. What do you do? Oh. You should work on the field. Um, army? What is that word? came from I never see army no you said army I thought I fucking dyslexia or whatever the fuck you did say army um I eat my bread start working You ate your very mediocre bread that the baker made from the wheat you planted. After you finished your bread, you get out of your bed and go to your job at the field. You've been working hard, turning the wheat into dough, and you're tired. Suddenly, the tax collector walks over to you. Nah, there's no need for that. Hello. Good sire. Microphone. The tax collector smiles. Hello, peasant. I have to collect your taxes today. It seems like your harvest isn't that bad for a pathetic peasant like you. Nand over half of your savings. Wait, you're... T you're just typing with your... You're using the microphone to type. Interesting. Wouldn't that be easier? Interesting. Hey, you gotta learn English, brother. And... And... I don't think so. I don't think so. The tax collector looks at you. What? You're denying the gracious noble's order to hand over your savings? Do you not like the noble's new painting of himself? You know, the one that he got with the tax money. No, you're going to go back to 20. 20 years. Oh, you're going back to 20 years. Are you a time traveler? What? Network. Did you make suggestion need to be verified by someone? Huh? 2020. You mean in the year 2020? Brug Burger, man. 2020 was really that good? I think the noble looks like a donkey on that painting. The tax collector gasps, what? 
Are you disrespecting the noble, the man that we all look up to and serve? You should know better. Now, give me your savings or I'll have to take them using force. Cash action, reacting, whatever. I mean, it does. We did do a verification. Like, you gotta do thumbs up if it's good. Like it's, yeah. Fighting or PlayStation Network online. Till you met Toxic Steve. Who is Toxic Steve? Yeah, Saban. So, uh, cause you're a mod, you can uh, add the emoji, like thumbs up. I talked about, uh, spam about that, but I guess I should have talked to you too. Yeah, that, that means ver verified. If you don't have a mod, you can't do thumbs up. So yeah. But there's no need for that because... I mean, if you, you link and uh, spam links, there's no need for that. But for anyone else, you could do that, I guess. What if I kill you right now and take all your money, your money, and skin you alive and take your job? Start to make you wild while you were 15 years old. And actually, he's 32 years old. Uh huh. Appreciate the alert. What? The tax collector gasps again. What? A mere peasant like you doesn't have the right to threaten the honorable tax collector like myself. The noble would hear about this. Now give me your savings before I take it by force. Um, I see. Say what if, sire? The tax collector looks at you in disbelief. What if? What if what? You're a mere peasant. Nothing can come of this silly threat. And that's why I don't have to take your threat seriously. Now hand over your savings. I don't tolerate insolence. Toxic Steve Meadow girl and she was full. Um, did you report to the authorities, Brug Burger? Stabs you with a butter knife and takes all your money. He was cooked and actually was jailed like a year. Only a year? What? That's crazy. You waiting for the food? I, what are you eating? Only a year is crazy. The tax collector suddenly looks down at his stomach, feeling a sharp pain. Ah, ah he groans. You... You just stabbed me. How could a mere peasant like you do such a thing to an honorable tax collector like myself? Uh, he slowly bus? drops down to the ground, groaning in pain and clutching his abdomen. Okay. He dead. Rice with some vegetables and shit. No meat? Pause. Just rice and vegetables? I guess it could be worse. Two probably. Yeah, I better be. Uh, takes. Clothes and. Uh, 
is a text collector now. <laughs> Yo, that's how it works. The now dead tax collector lays there on the ground, clothes stolen by a mere peasant. The other peasants are in disbelief, staring at the sight of a peasant wearing the clothes of a tax collector. Oh, well, well. Look who we have here. You got your daily tax coins ready. You, uh, Sack of filth. <laughs> now Tuxy Steve is out. Tuxy Steve is out. Now he stopped doing the East crime no more stuff no more. Okay. You dot. The peasants look at you in disbelief. W-O, they gasp. One peasant approaches you. Um, um, we haven't done our taxes yet. Uh, please have mercy, sir. The peasant stutters in fear of an angry tax collector. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. I guess I'll have to report you killing the peasant. Butter knife. Yeah, same. <laughs> you start doing jail stuff, okay. You will say it's difficult. The uh, you feel right. You can't feel bad about him. I mean, yeah. Toxic Steve, huh? Teach me how to t be toxic. You're learning from a pedophile. Okay. That's kind of bad. Um. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. I guess I'll have to report you to the uh 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 knights. Uh, knights. You can't be killing. Uh, you can't. Uh, um, you can't kill peasants. Butter knife. That's illegal, sir. <laughs> I'm blaming it on the peasant who doesn't got the money. Um. Yeah, he stopped doing that. Uh, that's good. Keep back to playing PlayStation. Uh huh. Uh uh, and no, please don't, please. The other peasants hear the situation and come over to you, pleading with you. Please have mercy, sir. We'll do anything. Just please don't report us to the knights. We beg of you. The other peasants desperately plead to you. I yell for knights and frame the peasant for killing the, uh, the real tax collector friend the peasant for killing the real tax collector with the uh, butter knife <laughs> uh at the day you stay away from him uh, words 
Because you misunderstood what he's trying to do, but... Okay, I mean, that's good. He's trying to better himself. Cool stream yesterday. Yeah, what happened? You moron! You had some stuff going on. Hope you're doing good, double spam. The peasants hear your lie and feel a wave of anger flow through their bodies. That's a lie, you bastard. One of the peasants yell, We didn't kill the tax collector, you did, says another. Please, you dare lie about something like this just to get peasants like us in trouble with knights? Please don't. The peasants all speak simultaneously. I mean... I just do, um... A squire, right? A squire appears. Um, sleep more than night. Oh, you fell asleep? Damn. Bro, you gotta have a sleeping schedule. You literally just not <laughs> got knocked out. Pretty much. Love hard on social media. You had to delete. Why? What? Can't. You're edging two hours heavy night. And rarely four. Brother. Nah, you gotta stop. Why edge, bro? Just come and that's it. Pause. Because you have no privacy for yourself in your house. Nah. At night, everyone sleep. That's crazy. Bro, going in. Pause. <clears throat> um, a squire appears. Help. Oh. Or appears. Help, this peasant murdered uh, this peasant with a butter knife. I think. Oh. And he doesn't have any coins for the tax. I think he. Oh, 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 oh. Tried. Tr tried. I think he tried to rob him and failed. See if it's more important than edging. Yeah, facts. Stop that and get sleep. Yeah. Bro's the edge lord. It's all about a country, country of furry. Go fuck yourself. Wait, what? Wait, I'm confusion. Oh, nah, brother. <laughs> nah, okay. I mean. It, look, it looks a bit sus though, but I. <laughs> so it feels so hard. You deleted your Instagram account. How do you laugh so hard that you delete your Instagram? Bro. If you learn you're a bitch boy, you'll be bitching a lot like girls. You're c. Go fall. Care to AI the word jerk. The squire looks at the situation and the angry peasants. Is this true? Are you sure that this peasant committed this heinous crime? Suddenly one peasant speaks up. 
No, the real tax collector was the one who was stabbed, and this fake tax collector stole that poor man's clothes and lied, saying that, that the real tax collector was killed by the peasant, when in reality it was this fraud who killed him. Good to an hour live. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you hear this nonsense, squire? These peasants will do anything to get another noble executed. W gaslight. W gaslight. The squire listens to you, hmm? Yes, I see. All right, all right. I shall inform one of the knights, he says with a certain look on his face. Hey, W gaslight. I'm a noble now. Easy upgrade. Thank you. May your day be blessed. Thanks, you. Yes, and I hope the day is terrible for the peasants who committed that heinous crime, the squire says, as he leaves to go call a knight over to take care of the peasants. <laughs> They're all getting executed. Oh, the. No. Oh, shit. One year, ten months. Hey. Appreciate it, man. You follow me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you just fall and just delete. Okay. Um. I just do weights for nights. Oh. Soon after the squire leaves, the peasants are left standing together with the fake tax collector and the dead real tax collector. One of the peasants says, this is terrible. How dare this squire believe this false lie when he could have just asked us, the most hardworking people in this land, for the truth, rather than a lying, money-hungry fraud. Nah, brother, what you mean? You follow this? Uh, I mean, yeah. How, how, how's your sleep, spat? Oh. Nonsense. Do you hear yourselves? Nonsense? How is us saying the truth nonsense? And how come you, a lowly, money-leeching fake of a tax collector, has the right to insult us peasants, the hardest workers in the kingdom? Wait, what is a tax collector lever level? Uh, tax collector rank. Does that even exist? Were there nobles? I'm guessing they're nobles. Probably not, though. I was sleeping with him. What? No. I'm a noble. My word is 100 times worth more than you. Is that how you say puny? Probably not. Puny peasants. A noble? You think we're that stupid, huh? You think we can't see through your fake disguise? You're no different than the rest of us peasants. Trying to earn a bit of money to feed your hungry children.
My children are well fed. Speak for yourself. Oh, really? How many children do you have, noble? The peasant I... says, clearly skeptical. Knights arrive. I have two sons. The knights arrive and see the situation, a fake tax collector wearing the clothes of a dead tax collector with peasants surrounding him. One knight speaks up. All right, what's the situation here? Sure. Peasants killed. These peasants killed another peasant. These peasants killed another peasant for money. Clearly didn't have any to pay the taxes. What? The peasants exclaim in unison upon hearing the false accusation. That's a lie. He has no right to accuse us the hardest workers in the kingdom of such a crime. The fake tax collector is the one who murdered the real tax collector and stole his it's clothes. True. We all witnessed it. Please, you have to believe us over this lying fraud. Neutral, I mean, that's good. At least it's not bad. Neutral for me too. Um... These peasants will come up with anything these days. This causes the peasants to get even angrier. What did you say? We're not lying. We're just trying to tell you the truth. But this false noble has managed to fool you into thinking that we're the lying ones here. When he's the lying one, please, you have to listen to us and not him. He's nothing but a fraud. Listen, dear knight. Um, this might be kind of bad, but uh, Listen, dear knight, my word is worth more than these peasants. Oh, no. Got an idea? Go play this AI abusive family. Is that so? And how is exactly so? is your word more than the word of peasants? who were actually present here at the time of the murder, the knight says, doubting the legitimacy of the fake noble. Well, I'm a tax collector, good sire. And what does that prove exactly? The real tax collector is dead. You're wearing his clothes. The peasants claim that you're a fraud. What exactly makes you a legitimate tax collector? What? I don't know. Show us proof. They're randomly on my ass. The knight sighs and looks at the proof in front of him. I see. It seems that you are indeed a tax collector. My apologies. I've been mistaken. You are legit. You are legit.
These peasants, however, are claiming that you killed the previous tax collector and are wearing his clothes. What do you have to say in response to that claim? No meat. That makes no sense anymore. Uh, what? AI abusive family. Nothing. You got a link or... So, 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 he decided to go on the path of roll driving. Roll driving. Uh, Mr. Osao, I am about to give you the most fantastic slap you ever seen in your autistic life. You had chicken juice though? What? You got rice but no chicken, but you got chicken juice? Okay, I mean, I guess that's better. Sure. Like a dead peasant to me. I think they're lying, sir. Sire. They just need more coins to pay taxes. Ah, uh, I see. That is a plausible possibility. The knight turns to the peasant surrounding him. You hear that? The new tax collector believes new. that you're all lying and just need more money to pay your taxes. Do you still want to argue for your innocence? Yes, sir. It's working. Tax someone from FNAF, who would I? Huh? Uh, I don't know, Chica. Ah, uh, Sven, you bullied Marco again. Did you forgot I did the commander and the chef of the asshole? <laughs> Spill milk on your mouth, pause, no light, that made me feel good. What? Nah, that's pause. Chica, why? Bro, I don't really. Bro, I don't care about any FNAF shit. I just, I don't know. Random. I don't know. Um, I'm not invested in the FNAF community, bro. Just went randomly with Chica. Probably because with the ISO uh, meat clip. I stand proud. I don't know. The peasants are now looking very nervous, realizing that the knight is convinced of the false noble's words and that it may be pointless to argue now. Yo. Uh, we... One of the peasants speaks up, stuttering and terrified. Yo, they're cooked. You're a cum in here. What? That came first. What? The link today, I... I... Pause. See, they're even stuttering. Worthless peasant scum. The knight is convinced now that the peasants are lying, and looking at the terrified peasants, he nods in agreement. Yo. I see, it seems they are indeed lying. I'm sorry for believing in their deception. These worthless peasant scum, 
always trying to get away with tax evasion and lying. Yeah. Behead, be, behead them, good sire. Oh, bro, just ate rice now. You want um M and J? Huh? Oh, margarine. Oh. All right. Spilled milk on my mouth is crazy. Man. Yeah, big pause. The knight is slightly surprised upon hearing the fake noble's order. I see. The knight looks at the peasants who are now even more terrified, realizing how close they are to death. Evil smirk. The peasants start pleading with the knight now, terrified for their lives. Please, please don't listen to that bastard. We're not lying. We're innocent. Please, we beg of you. How dare you call me a bastard? Sorry, I'm sorry. I was just trying to prove our innocence. Please, we don't want to die. Please! The peasants look at the knight in terror, their lives in his hands. Heh, look at them now. They're like weak little cowards. No surprise. That's all any of these pathetic peasants are after all. Yes, indeed. Knights behead them. Indeed. Too graphic? Oh, shit. Too graphic. Come on, man. Come on, think of something. Damn. Let's try your AI at. There we go, abusive family. What is this? There's you arrive late home late. Your father is drunk, laying on the couch watching TV, and your mother is smoking in a chair. It reeks of smoke and alcohol. It's disgusting. Classic. Uh, I don't know about this voice, though. Goes bented. Alert! Never missing a beat. Nah. Here for all your bright ideas. What? Uh. Ooh, Batman. Good day. Good day. Here. Guess who? Keeping you guessing. Good day. Here to make Say this. You arrive late home late. Your father is drunk, laying on the couch watching TV, and your mother is smoking in a chair. It reeks of smoke and alcohol. It's disgusting. Yeah, I can't get the images. Your father looks at you and sits up. Where the hell have you been? Oh, no. I he yelled at you. He was wasted. Never he had a bottle in his hand. Never mind. I can. They turn around towards you. The hell are you babbling about? Your father said as he got up off the couch. What? Your father grabs you by the arm, clearly pissed off. You got a death wish or something? Damn, death wish is crazy.
I want a dungeon, I want a... What? Your father smacks you upside the head. Excuse me? What the hell did you just say? Yeah, I'm freaky. I'm freaky like that. Smiles. As he smacks you again. What have I told you about disrespecting your mother and I with those disgusting comments, boy? Pause. He grabs you by the shoulders. Stop. Shut your goddamn mouth before I make you. Dad, your pee -pee -pee is Crazy. And he smacks you across the face. You better shut up or I'm gonna make you. He grabs your arm and pulls you over closer to make you look at him. He grabs you by the shoulders again and shakes you. Why do you always gotta act like a damn freak? Don't act. That is me. I raised a freak. He mutters under his breath before turning towards your mother. You see what I have to deal with? I don't know about this, bro. <laughs> no, this is your parents stare at you in disgust. What did you just say to your father? Your mother asks, looking at you in pure disbelief. Your mother suddenly stands and glares at you while your father's hands twitch like he just wants to hit you. What did you just say to me? Your mother said firmly, and your father is taking deep breaths like he is trying to control himself. Your mother looks even more pissed than before, while your father grips his hands into fists and looks like he is ready to punch you in the face. Say another word and you will regret it. I won't regret it. You've pushed your luck enough, son. I've had enough of this. Your father grabs you by the shirt and pins you up against the wall. He drops you and looks at you with an angry expression. You really think you were the boss? You're gonna regret saying that? It's gonna be some weird shit. You hear a new NASCAR song? It's fire. Huh? Didn't know cars make music. Okay. He shoves you. Quit acting like you're tough. I can take you, boy. I mean, I'm letting you cook. I 
Sonic will run and punch him in the face with a sudden fast punch. You don't disrespect the commander chief of his household. He falls back against the wall after you punch him, and his nose is bleeding. You little bastard. Okay. And then Jay, I. Then run up to him and kick him in the stomach. I say, don't disrespect the commander. He coughs and keels over on the ground. Ow. Oh, okay, stop. So, is my bitch now? Stand now, go and make me a sandwich. That you dare disrespect your superior, and you give me all beers too. Okay. He slowly sits up. Yes, yes, sir. He slowly gets up off the ground and walks to the kitchen to start making you a sandwich. Isn't true. After about five minutes, he comes back with a sandwich and beer and holds it out for you. His nose is still bleeding a bit. GG, start a new one if you want. I mean, yeah, you showed him who's the commander in the household. I want to continue this though. Um, will this one work? He just felt like cooking. I mean, yeah, you made him his, made him your bitch. Knights take him to the executioner. That might be better. The knights grab the terrified peasants and start taking them outside the field to the executioner. No, please don't kill us. No, no. The peasants are yelling and pleading now that they realize what is. Yeah, they're cooked. I go sneak into peasants' home and take all of their valuables. The false noble grins, seeing the opportunity to take valuables from the peasants who he convinced the knights to execute. Perfect. He sneaks into the peasants' homes one by one and grabs all of the valuables in sight. Loves menacingly. Okay, brother. You gather all of the gold and valuables from the peasants' homes. Each one of them is now bankrupt because of this. The fake noble laughs manically, seeing all the riches he has gathered.
Oh, man, manically. That's what I had in my mind. Actually, try to become a tax collector. Wait, no, I'll try to um. Like later, I'm. I should try to uh. Sneak in as a tax collector. And make it official? Right? You successfully go over to the noble's castle as a tax collector and make it official. The noble is convinced that you are legit and thanks you for dealing with the lying peasants who he believed were lying about your authenticity. You are now an officially confirmed tax yeah. collector. Does this exist? What's my rank? As a newly official tax collector, you are ranked the lowest in the tax collector hierarchy. You will have to work your way up the ladder and gain more riches for the noble by collecting taxes. Um... Is my word more wordful than peasant's word? As an official tax collector, your word is more worthful than the word of a oh regular yeah. peasant. Since you are now an official tax collector, people will think of you more highly than most and more likely believe whatever you say rather than a peasant. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna start scamming and killing all the peasants. Oh. Start scamming peasants for more profit. Um, a year passes. Oh, yeah. With your newfound legitimacy as a tax collector, you begin scamming the peasants for more profit. You use your title to force the peasants to pay more taxes and give you more of their hard earned valuables. At the end of the year, your wallet is filled with many gold and valuable valuables. <laughs> Damn. What's my rank now? After a year of scamming the peasants, you have made a fortune and become one of the higher ranked tax collectors. You are now one of the higher ranked tax collectors with your name known among the noble and higher ranked folk of the land. I made it. To peasant to a tax collector. Oh, valuable, valuable. It's just because of a butter knife. I mean, yeah. Hey, gaslighting, it just works. <laughs> I stabbed it. Real tax collector with a butter knife. Take his clothes, switch up the clothes, and boom. Knights thought I was an actual tax collector. Easy. Easy, I win.
you smile knowing that you were able to rise to such a high rank in such a short amount of time. You now have much wealth. With your riches continuing to grow as long as you continue to scam the peasants. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. I'm him. No, I'm that fellow. I am, I am. Chill out. Oh no, brother. Why are there features? You're non nonsense AI assistant. What? Rug burger. Rug burger. A delicious and juicy sandwich filled with a savory mix of melted cheese, juicy ground beef, crispy bacon, pickles, creamy mayo, and ketchup, all served on a soft toasted sesame bun. Honestly, that sounds pretty good. Sounds like a Brug Burger to me. Wait, what? Go to adventure. Learn something new today. Get fit and healthy. English teacher, manual needs that. <laughs> Who would win? Batman. The team Batman. Yo. Batman has a more agile fighting style. Also, just put simulator. Earthquake happening in America. 300 million killed. Earthquake caused by a man streaming chair actor AI rubbing his nose. I mean, I was rubbing my nose. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is this? Oh, no, nah, brother. Oh, no, nah, brother. School simulator. Hogwarts simulator. Oh, sorry. <laughs> simulator. Marauders era. What? Pokemon simulator. Bit life sim. Ain't that a phone game? K-pop idol simulator. Become a K-pop idol. Oh hell no, brother. Oh hell no, brother. Oh, this could be interesting. RPG simulator. MHA simulator. Oh, nah, brother. Oh, nah, brother. Knife simulator. Skyrim RPG. What? Oh, let me see this, though. What is this? Welcome to RPG Adventures, newcomer. Good day, Lil Autismo. Complete quests, travel, and make friends. This is a world with unlimited possibilities and an abundance of places to explore. Time to begin your journey, adventurer. But be careful, monsters lurk around in every dark corner. Health, 100% hunger, 100% energy, 100%.
Welcome to RPG Adventures, newcomer. Good day, Lil Autismo. Complete quest, travel, and make friends. This is a world with unlimited possibilities and an abundance of places to explore. Cool. Time to begin your journey, adventurer. But be careful, monsters lurk around in every dark corner. Health. 100% hunger, 100% energy, 100%. You obtained a map. Keep checking your inventory for new items. You have now been transported to a nearby tavern in the village. What will you do? Find a hot wife. You enter the tavern and scan the room quickly before your eyes fall upon her, the hottest girl you have ever seen, sitting by herself on the other side of the room. She notices your approach and smirks at you. Hey there, she says in her gentle feminine voice. You're so skibbity. <laughs> the girl looks at you with a look of interest and surprisingly, a slight look of excitement. And who are you? She replies with a smile, her gaze not leaving you. Call SSS. What? Um, I am the uh, top, um, the top G Sigma Rizzler, known as Mark. The girl raises her eyebrows slightly, her smile growing a bit wider. Mark, huh? The girl says, looking you up and down for a moment. You seem pretty confident. I like that. Let's sex. <laughs> Swear to this chart. The girl's eyes widen at your proposition and she lets out a small gasp, her cheeks turning a slight shade of pink. Whoa, whoa. She says, holding up her hand. We just met. I don't think that's on the table yet. Any quests? Um, so my uh, prize is sex. Is it? Yeah. The girl looks at you with a mix of surprise and confusion, her cheeks still slightly red. Oh boy, you really don't hold back, do you? She says. She ponders for a moment, seeming to consider your proposition. Finally, she looks back up at you with a sly smile. Well, there is a small task that I need some help with, and it's in desperate need of a strong helper just like you, she says. Oh, I gotta make that up? What the fuck? Um... Kill my ex-boyfriend. The girl's eyes widen again at your proposal, but this time there is an element of concern in her gaze as well. That's whoa, 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 hold up. Is that really necessary? She says, trying to keep calm. I might regret asking, but why? I thought I, I am the one filling the story. What the fuck? My bad, bro. I filled the gap, bro. Damn. Should press continue, yeah. The girl's eyes narrow, and she, she leans closer to you, speaking in a lower tone that just for you to hear. I need some help extracting a delicate item from a certain location. She says, her gaze flickering between you and the rest of the tavern. The girl glances around to make sure nobody is eavesdropping before continuing. 
The item in question is very valuable, and some not very kind people happen to have it in their possession. She says, leaning even closer so the only thing separating her from you is a few inches. The girl's eyes widen and her cheeks flush an even darker shade of red at your blatant statement. She looks around in a panic, hoping nobody heard you. I, uh, she stutters, before recollecting herself and regaining her composure. How about we get this job done before talking about any rewards? She says, with a hint of annoyance in her voice, clearly put off by your forwardness. Okay, what's the... What's the quest? Hey, W prize dome. The girl clears her throat awkwardly before she begins laying out the details of the mission. As I said, some very unpleasant individuals are currently in possession of this item, and it's located deep in their compound. I need you to infiltrate the compound and extract the item from their vault, she oh. says, gesturing with her hands for emphasis. Brain rot, I guess. Oh. Uh. Who are the very unpleasant individuals? The girl's expression darkens at the mention of the individuals. A group of bandits, led by a very powerful warrior. They've been terrorizing the local villages and stealing any valuables they can find for weeks now. And now they possess the one thing I need the most, she says, bawling her fist in anger. Quest accepted. The girl's expression eases slightly as you show your acceptance to the quest. Good. I knew I could rely on you to get this handled, she says, placing a hand on your shoulder. I'll give you all the details you need for the mission, but you must keep it discreet. No one else can know about this. Gotcha. Nah, brother, like what? Nah. Gotta be the girl's grip on your shoulder tightens slightly, emphasizing the seriousness of the task at hand. Good. The bandits are stationed in an old castle, about 10 miles northeast of this village. It'll be heavily guarded, so be careful when you approach, she says, lowering her voice to a whisper. I'll build my way, queen. The girl nods, a look of determination in her eyes. Be careful on your way to the castle. The bandits have been known to capture and interrogate anyone who wanders too close to their compound. I trust you'll make it. She says the corners of her mouth twitching into a small smirk. No. She is putting me into a trap. Nah, she's with the bandits. She's capturing simps? To oh, nah, brother. How do you type? Huh? Wait. Wait, something smells fishy and it's not your hoo -ha. <laughs> The girl looks puzzled at your statement, confusion flickering across her face. What do you mean? She asks, tilting her head to the side. You're luring me to go there and get captured. You are with the bandits.
You're literally typing. The girl's face transforms from confusion to shock at your accusation. She steps back, a look of hurt on her face. What? No. I would never do something like that. I swear I'm not with the bandits. She exclaims, her voice quivering slightly. You're trying to lure me with your looks. I... Oh, uh, ain't that blind? I don't know. My love ain't that blind. The girl's expression morphs from shock to disbelief, her cheeks flushing red once again. What? No. I would never use my looks to try and trick someone. I, she stutters, clearly taken off guard by your accusation. Guard, she wants me to go to the bandit castle and get kidnapped. Yo, yo. The guard, who is casually sipping his ale, turns at your yell and looks at you with a bored expression. What's going on, lad? He asks, putting his goblet on the table with a thud. Trying to fool me by her looks. Oh. She's trying to fool me by her uh, looks to get captured by bandits. I think she's working with them. IQ. The guard turns his gaze upon the girl and raises an eyebrow. He eyes her carefully for a moment before he lets out a low whistle. Aye, she's definitely a looker. But what makes you think she's working for the bandits? He asks skeptically. She is... playing with... She's playing with people's feelings to get something from them. The guard rubs his chin in contemplation, mulling over your words. He looks back at the girl, studying her for a few more seconds before turning back to you with a thoughtful expression. Ya yeah, got a point, Yo. lad. Yo. It's ain't the first time some pretty bird has tried to use her looks to get something out of a gullible fella. Yo. He admits. So lock her up. She clearly is working with the bandits. The guard lets out a weary sigh and nods. Aye, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to hold her here for a while, just to be safe. Yo. We'll keep an eye on her, see if anything suspicious pops up, Yo. he says, stepping over to the girl. Come with me, lass, he says, gesturing for her to stand up. Stupid hag. <laughs> the girl flinches at the sudden yell and the harshness of your words. A look of hurt and betrayal flashing across her face. Betrayal. Meanwhile, the guard looks at you with a stern expression. Watch it, lad. Ain't you supposed to treat a lady with some respect? He chastises you. She sent me to a deathbed. What do you mean? Literally. 
The guard sighs and rubs his temples, clearly irritated by both of your actions. Listen, lad, I understand why you're upset, but there's no need to start yelling names, you hear? And you miss. I ain't sure what your intentions were, but if you were trying to trick this poor fella into getting himself killed, that's a mighty dirty thing to do. He says, glaring at the girl. Fine, thanks for your service, sir. I don't know, sips, ale, and black salad, right? That's what happens. Just as you take a sip of your ale, your vision starts to blur and the world around you begins to spin. The guard looks on in surprise as you collapse into your seat slumped against the table. Whoa now, don't you go collapsing on me, the guard says, reaching over to support you and prevent you from falling off your chair. Wait, I literally took one sip and I blacked out. <laughs> I guess I'm, my stomach is really weak for beer. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, brother. <laughs> the guard calls out to the tavern keeper. Oi, Tom, bring a glass of water, he yells. Oi, Tom. The tavern keeper nods and quickly pours a glass of water, handing it to the guard. The guard turns back to you and lifts the glass to your lips. Here you go, lad. Drink this, he says, trying to make you drink the water. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. The tavern keeper nods and gives you a small salute as if to say, no problem. The guard, meanwhile, holds the glass against your lips, still trying to get you to take a sip of the water. Come on, you gotta drink something. Gotta get that nasty alcohol out of your system, he says, gently coaxing you to drink. Guys, drinks water. The guard lets out a small sigh of relief as you start to drink the water. He holds the glass steady, making sure you finish the whole glass before patting you on the back. Good lad. Now you'll feel better soon, you hear. But I reckon you should get some rest, he says, looking at you with a concerned expression. Uh, good night, guard. Um, I find, uh, uh, oh, I did do quest, find a place for the night. Uh, the guard nods and gives you a pat on the back. Ah, uh, you go rest. The tavern's got some rooms upstairs for you, so go on up and get some rest. He says, gesturing towards the staircase leading to the second floor. Thank you, kind sir. The guard gives you one last nod and smiles. Don't mention it, lad. Just be more careful with your alcohol intake next time, eh? That was a bit too much for you, he says, chuckling slightly. Close the bed. Bead. Huh? The room is small but homely. You make with your way up the creaky a small staircase window and with find a vacant room for the night. The room is small but homely, with a soft bed and a small window with a view of the village outside. You settle into the bed and drift off into a deep sleep. And then Jackbox, I'm...
quest. Find a quest. You awaken the next morning with a clear head and a renewed sense of purpose. You realize you need to find a new quest or task to complete, so you make your way downstairs to the main room of the tavern. What happened with the girl here? The guard is still sitting in his seat from the night before. When he sees you approach, he looks up at you and chuckles. Ah, you're finally awake. I was starting to worry you might have overdid it with the drinking last night, he says, shaking his head in amusement. As for the girl, she's been in the cell overnight. Me and the other guards have been keeping a close eye on her, but she hasn't done much besides mope around. Any quest I could earn a couple prime diamond bucks. Coins. The guard thinks for a moment, rubbing his chin thoughtfully. Hmm. Well, there is one thing that's been bothering me. I've noticed some suspicious activity around the outskirts of the village. Some folks have reported seeing strange individuals sneaking around the woods at night. But whenever we send someone out to investigate, they always come up empty handed. Maybe if you're up for it, you could go out and take a look for yourself. Huh. I'm... That's smart. Welcome back. That's actually smart. Neat Shamima, the UK Supreme Court has refused to even hear her appeal about getting her citizenship back, but she has taken her case to the European Court of Human Rights. They can overrule what the British government say. Many Brits support the British government on this, that it's a national security threat. But some people believe she deserves another chance after she joined IS when she was only 15. Shamima grew up in London and went to school at Bethnal Green Academy, the same school the Cray twins went to. Shamima and her two friends started reading propaganda online and started speaking to people that were in IS. They told him to come to Syria and it ISIS? is a beautiful place and it's only going to get better wow. under IS. So the three girls all decided to leave the UK and get to Syria. But when they got there, they were in for a big shock and they were married off within 10 days to IS fighters. Shamima had three children. All three of them passed away. Her two oh, yeah, friends that ass. came along both passed away. And IS wow. started to lose more and more territory oh, and Shamima found herself in a refugee camp. The three girls leaving was big news in the UK and a journalist managed to find her and she told him, I want to come back to the UK. And the British government said, we're not letting you come back to your family. You joined IS and they were absolutely yeah. barbaric in Syria at the time. And you married an IS fighter. Go Even on. if the European Court of Human Rights favor with Shamima, the UK government can still say no. They don't have to comply, but it would just add a lot of pressure on the government. No, like what? Me, Shamima. Can I eat you? I mean, W U K. That wouldn't make sense, to, like, bro. Nah, you did it to yourself. W song. Gen Z is not doing weddings, and the wedding industry is dying. And I say that as someone that recently left. Yo, W, fuck weddings, bro. Literally scams. That industry. I keep seeing videos where people ask, where are all of the Gen Z weddings? Because Gen Z is getting into their mid or late 20s now. Aren't they getting married? And yes, they're getting married. Scams to what? 
brother, you you have to waste so much money to do a wedding. Literally a scam. Great, but they're just eloping, yeah. like I did with my spouse. We can't afford weddings. I mean, the issue okay. of affordability really well, was the main reason that. I quit my job as a wedding photographer. Because even when I would have clients That's that chilly, she, okay. were millennials or Gen Z and they did do a full wedding, they were usually so incredibly stressed about it because their entire family had to yeah, pull. Yeah, now I saw the picture. Yeah, he sounds pretty gay. Together, that like 40k they needed. So here I come with 30 pounds. Don't that just proves you don't mean your love. What? You're about to become a villain. There's a camera like, strapped to me, no and from everyone else's podcast. perspective, I've just been paid three, four thousand dollars, a big chunk of their budget, to click buttons all day and enjoy the party they have just like spent their life savings to have. In reality, my job was very difficult, but they don't know that. They're not a photographer. So I had people screaming at me about, like, you're not taking enough photos, even though I'm literally taking, like, several every minute. I've taken, like, 3,000 so far that day. But that's hard to explain. And I had people, like, rip cameras off my body to try to, like, look and make sure I'm actually doing my job and stuff. The financial pressure... For a party, I mean, I guess. But honestly, like, I don't like parties. Parties are scams as well. <laughs> Being a photographer is such a vibe. I guess. Pressure for these families was so severe that they just treated their wedding staff terribly. And I really do feel for the wedding vendors out of all of this because these families are being socially pressured to have these huge weddings. Coming at a time when families have less money than ever to really spend on this sort of thing. So they're trying to get their vendors to be cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Sure. At the same time, these vendors' costs are increasing as well. So they're just getting pressured and squeezed to the point where they're not making any money. Like, I would charge about $3,000 for a very average wedding with like six hours of photo coverage. And that sounds like a lot of money for pictures until you remember that I am traveling, booking a $200 hotel room for the night. Then also paying on contracts for uh -huh. advertising. So my advertising contracts were over $1,000 a month. My camera equipment was $15,000. And I did have to replace my cameras every, like, three years. Bro, America, bro. Like, what is this? Need high education to be a photographer? Let's take a picture. Picture gun. Because of the insane amount of stress that these sorts of events put on your equipment. Not to mention, I felt awful physically because when you're a wedding photographer, you are running, jumping, and squatting all the time, and you don't get to sit down because people scream at you for not working if you do. So you're like doing all of this with these like heavy light stands and everything. I was gardening and popping Tylenol sometimes at weddings just to get through the what? evening because my pain was really bad, especially on my back. So after taxes right. and expenses, this $3,000 becomes like $1,800. And then I have to edit the photos for like three weeks and manage all of the client stuff. It wasn't a good gig, really. So yeah, if you just got fun. engaged or something, do yourself a favor and plan an elopement or a backyard wedding instead. My best clients were elopements or backyard weddings. I had one client whose great-grandmother got married at their family home, and we had this photo book from the 1920s that I replicated some of the shots from so she could be, like, you know, sitting in her dress under the same arch as her great-grandmother in the 1920s. And I thought that was so beautiful and so much better than like, oh my God, we're all having panic attacks, but at least we're in the mountains in Vermont. So the wedding industry is dying, but I say good riddance as someone that's been to like over 200 of them. <laughs> but wouldn't you- Gen Z- Not make money then? You would make less money.
tries to walk to me about anime. I can't read it. Talk. Brother. <laughs> we live in Europe and everyone within a five mile radius will threaten you if you talk about anything other than vapes and drugs. Do I know you? You stop me you're talking to me. Do I know you from anywhere? I want hundred dollars. Are you fucking mad? <laughs> I don't know you for me. Why you be stopping yeah. me? Get out of this place. Why you stopping me? Why do you? I mean, bro, that shit's so crazy. You're literally a cancer on earth. Top 30 most alcoholic countries. Five kilometer, not miles. Fuck. Wow, check. Latvia. Wow, second. Romania 10th. I see you. Fuck is a kilometer. Oh, it just goes. Okay. Bulgaria 16. Estonia 19. W Norway. 30. Actually, who's not on the list? W. Greece. Greece is not on the list, even. L. Norway. Okay, brother. My God, this is not real. Hey, Kenneth, bro, look who I just ran into, bro. Jordan was popping. Tell him, tell him, tell him we ain't getting no more videos, bro. It's over with. Y'all get some videos. <laughs> we found him. My God, this is not real. Hey. Nah. Where the videos at, bro? W last praise. Yeah. Alcoholism is bad. Fuck you mean, brother. Oh, no. Nah. Mm. <laughs> Is he a judge? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is least alcoholic. 
Brother, are you not listening? Brother, do you have autism by any chance, Sabin? What are you yapping about? We all knew that. <laughs> Brother. Yeah, I say W30. And then I say W Greece, because Greece is not even on the list. What? Brother. Define aura. We hate anime. It's on the list. I mean, I guess, but it's not that alcoholic than the other countries, but sure. Me versus you. What? You hate anime, W. One v two. You like anime? No, what anime you watch, bro? the boobs and shit when she was directly so like hentai yeah that's some freaky shit <clears throat> you find a video on youtube while your food is getting progressively colder yeah been there you draw they need space in between. <clears throat> Eight year old me after my dad bought a bigger TV but still couldn't see the woman's face in Tom and Jerry. Y'all down for Jackbox? Yo, I been some time. Uh. Appreciate it, Saban. Wait, Johnny joined literally. I right. good time. Um, okay, hope we're doing good, Johnny. Murder joke. Fuck you, stream. Fuck you, Twitch. What happened? Um, quit. Um, we could do push, right? There's four of us. Push. Oh, for work? Oh. Alright, well, hey, appreciate, appreciate saying hey. And, uh, good luck at work. Um, okay. Then, no push. I'll put rolls. Since I know two of you. All right, boarding time. I think my headphones just died. What? No, yeah, they.
they literally died. Okay. Sing along, pussy to heaven. Uh, how many pills like seven? Uh, less than that, bitch. I had an adult. Uh, I can hear now. Uh, rate the title. Shit is weird. Uh, Jack game Jackbox while in the box. War criminal game, anyone can join. I mean, sure. That works. Um, alright. Murder and rolls. Okay, we'll do rolls. And then, oh. Misclicked. What game did open now? Oh, guess when? That's rolls. No. To match the autistic roll. You must be the guinea pigs I ordered. Sign in with the room code and make sure to snap a selfie or draw yourself for our records. Time to determine this if your nicknames are scientifically accurate. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the Wait, genetic Manuel, magic that join? makes each and every human a truly unique no. individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier fine, to figure you know. people out with science. You guys are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. My lovely assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and I mean, at the I'm end, we'll manual, crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Okay, the lab's got some fresh cadavers coming at nine, so let's go. I need a category to get us started. Well, Vote for yes, your favorite, lose, but try to make it something everybody knows uh, a little bit about. Your time. Yeah, we're playing tech box. Which horror movie joining? character uh, best suits each of you? It shows the room code. So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each roll. Who's Tap victim? that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make Who's sure to pretty? pick someone. When everyone's what? given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Let's see who's who. Wait, Freddy Krueger. It did say Freddy. Yeah, it said only Freddy for Bring me up too. those votes. Rug Burger. We were all thinking the same thing on that one. We have our winner. Yippee! I like to reward my lab rats for positive Shit. behavior. So I'll give you guys Points, these yeah, nutritious science pellets. Whenever your nine answers nine. match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Basically Plus, the they thing. taste like what? meat. We've got some 99% bonus pellets to award. Right. Excuse me, you have a little drool on your chin. Jason? First 
Good news is, you didn't have to wait long for it. I thought I was Jason. <laughs> oh, that was big Here's where we board. landed. And here's how you're doing on science pellets. Man. Don't forget, you get those tasty pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the lab rat of the month. Select the next category. I guess. Yeah, you're on the lead. alternate universe version of yourself are each of you. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let the truth telling begin. Oh, yeah, and remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. Surely. Let's see where we landed. I gotta be new. Take out the outliers. Yeah. Even entrepreneurs get the munchies, man. Nice. Such steady hands. Really? Cable and news. That 99% guess paid off. Oh, you're pretty much off air live. I thought that was, you know, maybe. I guess so. Hmm, looks like your peers weren't feeling any of these roles for you. For I've got a consolation role that might do the job. Couldn't seem as a news guy. Everyone vote on which role this controversial Just subject you deserves. With an eye patch. Okay. You win some, you lose some. You get the roll and some science <laughs> pellets. Just saved me, but I just lost an eye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's you know, the lineup. Yeah. That makes sense. And real quick, you, you are I nailing this. You know more about your nice. friends than you probably should. Okay, we've got some solid info on each of you. Now let's run the numbers and see if anything interesting pops up. I can tell from your roles, you two are complete opposites. Oh. If you look at the data a certain Foolish. way, that is. We're gonna pit you against each other and see who wins. Okay. What is the least secure password you can think of? I want both of you to write an answer that matches the trait above you. The rest of you will decide who wins. Sure, liberal. There you go. Smart. One, two, three. Vote it's on not your smart. devices now. Say you didn't lock in. That's not smart. Foolish is one, two, three. Four. I love results. <laughs> Bro, you sold. You were supposed to be smart. You what? two? Your rules tell me you've got something in common. I can't stand not knowing who's better. Evil. You're a spy. An attractive counter agent has the secret file. How do you get it from them? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all.
have it. I don't it. know. I just friend him into being a Vote on your boy. devices now. I fingered them until they can't move, take low, play so. Too much. Uh, I feel so much better now. I mean, that is more evil. I'm just making him into a Fair. Okay, what will our last category be? Flag are you? Don't right. overthink this. Let's see what everyone picked. Right, surely. Yourself, or at least what your friends think of you. <laughs> I mean, that's literally what I do. I'm a red flag, I guess. Shit. Subjects who already have a role can't get this one, so we'll take out these votes. Ain't nothing wrong living with your parents, though. Like, come on. Yeah. Didn't know. Here's where we ended up. Coming for you, Sabin. Pause. Hey, we've got all the data oh, we need. Never mind. Here come your final roles, as determined by <laughs> everything mind. your fellow lab rats said about you. You want quite carefree entropy. Super clumsy, not so evil bystander. And our lab rat of the month with the most total science pellets is. That's fair. I'm pretty accurate. Very evil. Not so smart. Professional. How are you not so smart and a professional? <laughs> what? That makes sense. <laughs> smart but can do without knowing. Standards. Sniper from TF2. Uh, we had roles, we had murder, right? Yeah. And then we'll vote after this. Yeah. I mean, if you want to join, not, not against you, your will. But it will be more fun with more people. Uh, spam, Sabin. Your fish, yup. And I'm a nerd, bro. Why am I a nerd? It's against his will. Bro, I'm a fucking geek. I guess he's not joining? Anyone can join. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You snooze, you lose. I mean, you can join the audience, true. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. 
Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. Also, someone took a number two in the pool, and I am not happy about having to clean that up. It's like a brain okay, first question. But it's not for you. Which of these movies stars somebody in prison for a crime they did not commit? Use your device to answer the question. What? Time's almost up! And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Put on the Do Disturb sign. We're at room 101. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. Oh no, we're good. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write at hey, least 40% yo. of the words I say, or you die. And the letter begins... Now. Dear local action news team, do you take requests? I would like to see more uplifting feature stories that share positive images and less segments about the crimes that I have committed. Viewers are tired of all the sad stories I am directly responsible for. Time's up! Okay, uh, now let me just um, collect your letters and... And I what's sold. the result? Yeah, I sold. We Aw, uh, don't worry. You I still made the ways. cut. You know, like a knife. <laughs> Good one. Saving clothes. <laughs> Bro, we're so bad. Aw, oh, crap. You all died too early. Bummer. Oh, there we go. I gotta get more sleep because I don't know what the hell just happened. Yeah, Let's weird. try this again, I guess. It's time for the next question. Nothing happened. I always forget the name for this whenever I'm talking to my stylist. What style would create a beautiful hair crown that goes all the way around my head? Not a girl. Oh! I don't know. Who picked this? Milkmaid? <laughs> what? Everyone is wrong. It's time. That sounds so stupid. Welcome to room 217. It's magic time! Maids, yeah. Oh no. Pick a space inside the box to hide. Imagine he kills all of us. Oh, I sure do hope you're claustrophobic. Mm. Ah. Now I'll close my eyes and just randomly whack this sword in there. Magic! I died. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Surprise! Everyone who dies in this hotel turns into a ghost. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Which of these late great rulers was born the latest? The latest. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. I choose you. This one should be easy. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. I'm letting the safe player play oh. too. And if they correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. Okay. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! I'm just, uh, typing random shit. It may not look like it, but this is totally different oh, than the math minigame. game. 
Rule time is coming to an end. Oh wow. Randomly typing, I got what pretty close. What the heck? 10 10. My mother used to say, all this will be yours someday. She was referring to the hotel and her insatiable thirst for blood. Oh, got the exact same. That's cool. Let's try another one. Some people think that just because I'm a serial killer that I should own rats. But I'm like, come on, that's amateur hour. <laughs> yeah. Capybaras are the largest rodent in the world. What's the second largest? Ooh. Who picked this? Oh, wow. Only a ghost got it wrong. Way too easy. American Beaver. Let's keep moving. Which of these American places is totally badass because it does not observe daylight savings time? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Who picked Alaska. this? Oh. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Follow me. Oh, Quiplash. You know what? I just want to play Quiplash. The game will send a question to your devices. Type in the funniest answer you can think of and hit send. Let's see. I made the timer a little longer, but don't take forever with your joke. Let's see the funny ha ha's. Don't stick this in a pencil sharpener, please, not again. I'm scared. Now your friend will vote for the answer they like best. I mean, what doesn't make sense? The player. Let's see the votes. Losing Very happened. Insane. GG. I mean, you had time. 35 seconds. Saying I'm in true, but still. That was cool, though. The guy even sounded, like, scared. Fuck oh, off. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. Who is Ted Lasso? Huh? That's a good question. Who is he? <laughs> I've never heard of him. Who picked this? I actually got it right. What? One of you is still alive. So. Time for consequences. I'm giving oh, you the luck. laziest gift of all. A scratch ticket. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Uh, prediction if I win. Man. Start scratching. But who wins? What? No. Why stop now? You got it. We know what a losing ticket means. I will vote as you. <laughs> Lucky. Ah, crap, I killed everybody? I guess I'll bring one of you back. Oh. It's kind Spanish of arbitrary, guy. but you had the most money. Anywho, the time has come. come. Glad to see Too you're the one times. to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Golf clubs. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Coming has came, what? Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. Well, you'd be closer to the exit if you've gotten either of those right. 
Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. You can't outrun that ghost forever. Kanye West albums. I don't listen to him. Time is almost up. I guess. The tables have turned. Bowling terminology. Huh? Okay. Another life force swap. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Tarot cards. I don't believe in that shit. I guess. But... Beatles songs. I have no Time is almost up. I got it though, I'll take it. I'll take it. Actors who play Dracula. Never heard of all of them. Like, what is that? Okay. It was all of them. The outfits. The darkness approaches. Fortnite skins. What? Brother, I don't play Fortnite. Let's just call that a fluke. Right, I Dungeons and Dragons abilities. The time is almost up. Stolen life force. The darkness approaches. Has webbed feet. Sesame Street residents. We're all gonna die. Time is almost up. <clears throat> You're Wait, better I than I right. thought. I thought I was lost. The darkness approaches. Where do you think you're going? You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Answers to escape. Brother. How would I know my bra size? Like what? Related, what? Alright. Looks like it's still you you and me. Two of you. Man tits? Well, you don't have bra for man tits. Uh, so I guess same shit.
did not win. That's crazy. Murder, roll, jolt. I mean, that's about it. We can play. Ain't no one else here. All right, voting time. Murder. You can't vote. What would you vote? Oh, murder. Well, done deal then. Murder, murder until uh, it's time to end the stream. If no one joins. I thought it said dude. Murder. Murder. I spelled dude, but it was dewey. Um, guess that's all of us. You can start the game spam. We joined first. Oh yeah, 10 second countdown, sure. You lose. You can join the audience. Stop. The local residents familiar with the abandoned. <laughs> this is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive. And then we'll discover who the true killer is. <laughs> Just kidding, it's me. It's, it's of course definitely me. All right, first question. According to the American Library Association, which book was the most challenged or banned in 2017? Use your device to answer the question. What? And the correct answer is... Who I'll got the question it. right? That looked sus enough. The rest of you... Time for consequences! Welcome to the killing room! It's my old favorite, chalices. I've given each safe player a poison up. pellet. Pick a you chalice to drop you. your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. You were mm. there, would you? Now let's see what everyone you drank. There, would you? Oh, it's bad. You died as Green you lived, poison. Come drinking on, poison. Oh, my. You're not going anywhere. The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. It's my Let's keep moving. <laughs> what type of rock is chalk? Wow. What type of rock is chalk? We either this or that. Who picked Base of the chair. this? I'm stalling. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I, never think I want to show you something. Now we know, I guess. Welcome to room 237. Let's play with dice. Uh -oh. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. 
I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. Wait, this is different. It's like blackjack, but with dice. And skulls. Look, it, it made sense when I first put it together, okay? I see you're unlucky in dice. I think I forgot the rules. I thought I was close. <laughs> I forgot the rules. Let's try another one. You gotta find her song. I don't even know what to do. So, uh, sorry. sorry I got this song stuck in my head. According to the Tracy Chapman song, you have a fast car, but what does she have? Instructions. Uh -oh. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, uh -oh. I will kill you. I'm cooked. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! Is it clear that this game is called Rules because you have to follow a bunch of rules? What? Man, naming stuff is hard. Rule time is coming to an end. Yeah, I saw it. I guess you were overruled. <laughs> the final round isn't ready yet. You're not all supposed to die before that. Oh. That's strange. Oh, I could've yeah. sworn you messed up big time happened. and died before getting to the final round, That's but strange. I guess I imagined the whole thing? Yeah. I'll play closer attention from now on. Yeah, lock in, bro. It's time for the next question. What does legend say will happen if the groundhog sees its shadow? Stop. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Pegs! Oh no, I'm getting the peg. You're going to drop Gosh. down this board and try to avoid the death zone. Like you know asked, what? Yeah. We need some death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. Ooh, I just love watching this one. I went way too right. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, I am filled with rage about the whole nobody dying thing. <laughs> this is up there. I went way too right, but I still got it. We're here! The final round is close. Next question. 
How many years ago is yeah, four true. score and seven years ago? What is a four score? Time's running out. Who picked this? One of you is still alive. Come with me. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Everyone else will be typing too. And if anyone does a better job than you, you die. And the letter begins now. Dear mystery figure, cease hovering in my periphery. Recede back into the inky darkness. I command you. I demand you. Oh god no. Please no. This is the end. Just kidding. Have a good weekend. Time's up. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a quick editorial review of your work, and here's how you did. But did anyone do better than you? You got outperformed. Wait, you said you fu That's not even close to what I said. I mean, yeah, you did fuck up. Mm. <laughs> Told you I was bad. Yeah, you won. Whoa, you all died too easy. But I still need someone alive. So... See, having the most Fair money enough. is good for something. The time has come. He came all the way back. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Disney animated movies. Tap each answer that fits the category and then sure. press submit. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You too, man. I appreciate being as always. You're a little bit closer to escaping, but you're not alone in here. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Kind of a gimme. Taylor Swift albums. I have no clue. Those ghosts are closing Close in on you. Opera's. Come on, watch any opera, so. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Newspaper comic strips. Time is almost up. Yikes, there's a ghost right behind you. Plural now. Stole some yummy life force. Yummy. Parts of an animal cell. That's a lot of guessing. I'll take it. That one was too easy. No, it wasn't. New Testament books. Time is almost up. Yeah, I sold. A 
another life force swap. Words in the preamble of the U.S. Constitution. Darkness approaches. Wait, I'm Onions. Oh, GG. Don't let the darkness hit you on the way out. Countries on the equator. Time is almost up. Another life swap! Oh, Animals that hibernate. Yeah, I did. Hmm. You're better than I thought. The darkness approaches. Not so fast. There's you no need way. a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Chuck Chris, what? Yeah, brother. I lost. <laughs> Yay! Wrapping it up is late. <sighs> what do you mean the fuck? Lost and seeing you two win. Ow? What? That's kind of fucked up. And this combat raid. Oh, like someone playing. Wait, who's count? <laughs>
Yeah, we got Lexus in here. Yeah, what up, what up, what up? We got four people. I I mean, we can start with four people. Oh, he's uh, just gathering. I think we're going to do that. I mean, so, I guess. let me get this up. So, everybody's in. Hey, so, Raj, that would be doing good. Music. On my second lunch break at work. Alright, but yeah, Brock Burger Raid. Joined the right town, Raj. Alright, well, as always, love all your mentors. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And, uh, you're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I'm not that guy, but I am that fella. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. So, peace out. Good. Um, shit, it was Canada. I, I'm a variety streamer, but I, I love playing um, Jackbox at the moment. Love playing horror games and doing a lot of reacts recently. Our second time here. I do remember the name. Um, Wait, we're live? Wait, we're live? Wait, we're live? Oh. Brock Burger. Brock Burger.